See, look, we're already using the excess ladder storage. Hello everyone, I hope all is well. My name is Todd. This is Take Care Man, where I try to equip you men to take better care of yourselves. So if you've seen one of my videos before, you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you consider subscribing. So in this video, we will be doing a tag video. I've been tagged by Sammy over at Shave Girl to do the shave that I'm a little bit scared of and where I'm using unfamiliar products. Now, I'm not entirely clear. I think at one point there was a, a, a tag going around that was using unfamiliar products, like something new to your lineup or something you know you just weren't that familiar with. And then also one where it was something you were gonna use, you were a little scared to use for whatever reason. So I'm gonna do, like Sammy did, and kind of combine those, the unfamiliar with the things that I might be a little scared of, would be this uh, Jim Jr. I actually have the blades that came with it, but they're a little rusted, <laughs> so I'm not gonna be using those, obviously. It says the, uh, the parade down in the bottom left-hand corner. If it says the, the parade and it is a Jim Jr., then that's uh, pretty certain that it's a particular year that I'll put here on the screen, but also down in the description. And you can see that this cost a whopping uh, 39 cents when it was sold. I've mentioned my uncle before on the channel, no longer with us, has been gone now for a couple of decades. He actually was active in flea markets. So he would go to uh, flea markets, which here in the U.S. are like markets where people buy and sell, use things, uh, or sometimes new things, or arts and crafts, or baked goods. But it's a, it's a place where a lot of people will buy and sell antiques. He uh, had this one. So I'm not actually sure if he actually ever used it. It was just one of the things that he collected in the flea markets. Uh, speaking of uh, flea markets and my uncle and things he uh, collected, this is a bottle of uh, the Rolls-Royce uh, Avon Thai Winds aftershave, which is supposed to smell like high karate aftershave. And it's in a bottle that looks like a Rolls Royce car, which I'll save that for the post shave. I'll show you what that looks like. We'll pull it out of there and look a little closer at the, at the box at the time. So I've never used this aftershave before. I haven't used this particular one or tie winds at all. And this one has never been opened. So this is, I guess, what you call new old stock, right? So it's uh, just never been used. Also something I have never used before, the Arco Shave Stick. And then I'm also gonna be using something I've also never used before. This is a brush by Cremo. It's a horsehair brush. I've never used a horsehair brush before. This one is actually made uh, by Vialong or Vialong, or how you say it, uh, the Spanish company that I associate most with horsehair brushes, even though I've never owned one. And they've actually made this for Cremo. And I actually bought this off of Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. So I've never used horsehair before. Honestly, it's kind of weirded me out before. I think it's because, you know, you don't see badgers and boars uh, in everyday life generally. <laughs> and I see horses all the time. Actually, I see horses every day. I drive by my house. There's a, a pasture and a barn with horses. So anyway, it's just a little, you know, strange to me to uh, use a horse hair brush. So it's a little scary, a little unfamiliar, I guess you might say. So first time using a gym razor, first time using a shave stick, first time using this vintage Avon aftershave, and I've not used any vintage Avon aftershave. Uh, because I'm a little nervous and I want it to be slick as possible, and you know how I love my pre-shaves, I'm going to use something that's also new to me, but kind of not new to me. You're kind of not unfamiliar. Now, something that's very familiar to me is what's left of this cube from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now, I love the cube. I really, really like it quite a bit, and also like the, the uh, ice pre-shave puck I have. But honestly, what I don't like about the, the, the cube is how messy it can be. So I usually just keep this in a small, you know, lather bowl. What Douglas uh, has come out with that I really find intriguing and have never used, and therefore it's unfamiliar to me, is the cube in a tube. This is tube 2.0. So it's basically the pre-shave uh, cube in a tube. So and it's kind of a twist uh, up uh, design. So we're going to use that for a pre-shave because you know I love... Uh, my pre-shaves. It's gradually creeping up to 120, so that's going to tell me it's probably a little bit below, and it is like 114. So it took a little longer shower than usual. I like for it to be around 120, but that's that's close enough. So we'll wring that out. Uh, I'm going to take the cube here and wet it a little bit. A lot of uh, wet shaving YouTubers who've been using this 
for their shave soap in a, in a few shaves I've seen. It's definitely very, very slick and could do that. And I'll look, instant black mustache. Put this on pretty liberally. Go back in, wring out our washcloth. Now, there's something else that's new to me, and you may have already spotted it, and that is the shirt I'm wearing. I'm a member over at the uh, Shaving Cadre, the shavingcadre.com. We'll put the link down in the description. This is the current official uh, TSC, the Shaving Cadre official shave shirt. What I love about this is the excess lather storage around the neck. If you've seen my videos before, you know I make a mess when I'm lathering. So this is perfect for me. This is where it all lands, and so here's extra lather uh, if needed. But yeah, you can order these uh, shirts from Zazzle. I'll put the link down below. It's in a variety of colors. It's got the uh, Shaving Cadre logo on there. All right, let's uh, get into this shave. Let's peel back uh, this Arco stick. And again, this is all brand new to me, so we're going to peel it back about like that. All right, like classic. Even though it's classic, I have never used it. And get in here. And what the fish. It's been a warm day here. And it's one of those days where the air conditioner has a hard time keeping up <laughs> with how hot it is outside. And so it's a little hot in the bathroom. This definitely has a real soapy scent. Honestly, it smells a little bit like ivory soap, so just kind of an unscented soap. Hear my dog in the background there barking. Let's see what happens with this Arco cream. Okay, here it comes. Okay, now I gotta tell you, when I got the horsehair, see, look, we're already using the excess lather storage. Uh, when I got the horsehair brush in the mail, I gave it a sniff, because you know how these boars and badgers are. They often come with a little animalic scent to them. And uh, I smelled this one, it didn't smell any animalic uh, smell. Well, now it's wet and it smells like wet dog. Or I suppose wet horse. As a kid, we had horses, but I don't remember <laughs> they had a particular scent when they were wet. You know, don't let that deter you from one of these brushes, because I'm gonna assume, and I don't know that for sure, but I'm gonna assume just like boars and badgers, they lose that animalic wet dog scent uh, over time. In fact, just a few shaves in, generally, they uh, do that. But I, I gotta tell you, it's a tad bit scritchy, but mostly I'm shocked how soft it is. The smelly horsehair brush I can take, the, uh, so far in terms of lather, I can take the Arco shave stick. But now the part I'm really uh, nervous about. I, I won't say that I'm scared <laughs> to use a gym razor, but I'm one of these guys who, like, I don't, like, I don't mind, you know, getting a nick while I'm shaving. What I don't like is the anticipation of possibly getting a nick. Does that make sense? Like, sort of waiting for that shoe to drop, like, oh, am I going to cut myself? So these are Persona gem blades that I picked up from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I'll put a link in the description. It says here that it is gold-plated, and it is, in fact, gold-plated. And, you know, I even, I watched a, a video from Matt Pasarsik over at Razor Emporium about you know, how to clean a razor and uh, take care of your gym. And, um, you know, unfortunately, some knucklehead uh, took a flitz cloth to the top of this and took the gold plating off. It was me. I'm, I'm the knucklehead. I mean, I haven't watched that video and everything, and I still was in my, I was in my not box where I keep my knives and my knife sharpening stuff and knife polishing stuff, knife cleaning, knife lubrication, all that stuff. And I just grabbed that flitz cloth and said, oh, this helped clean the top. And then, so there you go. I've taken some of the gold plating off. Uh, you can give me a hard time in the comments below, but you can also uh, give me an idea of what it would cost to get this replated. Uh, but anyway, there you go. It's still functional. So uh, I tried to clean this up as best as I could. So here's the gem blade. You can see there's a couple of little guides along the bottom here. I'm going to assume that, that that feels about right. Uh, and it's my understanding that you just, you know, plop this down and that, that we're all set to go. Now, what I understand from this is that I should lay the head of it flat against my face and then adjust the angle until I fear it, feel it cutting. So here goes absolutely uh, nothing or everything or something or whatever. Okay, so far so good. Now, if you're not familiar with gem blades, they remind me a little bit more of like blades you would use in a, like a carpet cutter. 
Um, so they're not as flexible as a, uh, a double-edged blade. So far, so good. No nicks. Yeah, okay, so far for with the green. But yeah, this is something that my uncle had uh, in his room full of flea market stock slash collection slash find slash inventory, whatever you want to call it. Uh, when he passed away, like I said, and you know, two to three decades ago, my it was actually my great my great uncle was my dad's sister's husband. He was a high school economics teacher slash English teacher slash Baptist preacher slash flea market antique dealer. So that's actually where I got the after I said as I said earlier the aftershave. And the razor. If you've watched the channel at all, you know that I've been sans goatee without the goatee for only a couple months. So Shaving under the nose with the, you know, just with a double-edged blade is still sort of new to me. So definitely with this gym, because the head's so big, I'm not really sure how to may just have to be on a cross strokes. All right, well, I feel like I did pretty good on the first pass in terms of getting close. I don't see any red. Got plenty of excess lather down here if I need it. Oh gosh, yeah, it smells like wet dog. I think I'm gonna have to put a little bit more of the stick on. I'm sure I'll get better at the shave stick stuff. Feel free to leave comments, suggestions, critiques, ridicule, jokes down in the comments. Now, I know some of you shave with straight razors and shavettes and pocket knives. I'm just kidding. I've never seen anybody shave with a pocket knife. Maybe, did Crocodile then do, they do that with the, the Bowie knife in the movie? And y'all y'all do it like while blindfolded and like in five minutes and eating ghost pepper chips and everything else. My hat's off to you, but this is new to me. So, yeah, color me a little anxious. Now, i got to say, feeling pretty confident after that first pass, but... Try to remind myself not to feel too confident. Overly confident. And right now I'm, I'm less nervous about getting cut and more wondering, you know, am I going steep enough on the angle? You hear that feedback? And I'm sure I should not be doing little buff strokes instead should be doing long strokes. I feel like I did get a nick here. That's actually the same place I got a nick last time in the last shave. There's a bump there or what? Yeah, that's the scariest part for me anyway is under the nose. Okay, I got some red right there. I don't think I saw that on the First pass, I think it's from the second pass. Not too bad though. A little nick there. Here they come. <laughs> I promise you, I will keep using this gem in the future till I feel comfortable with it and proficient with it. Yeah, this Arco just has a real soapy, sharp, soapy scent. It's not unpleasant. It's a little synthetic, like a little chemical smelling. If that makes sense, but it's it's pleasant.
Hibiscus LaCroix riding in the Duluth uh, Trading Company koozie. I hope to review some Duluth Trading Company products, clothing. I kid you not, like at least a third of my closet or my clothing altogether is uh, Duluth Trading Company stuff. I really like their stuff. Don't get me wrong, I've got some duds from them through the years, but most of their stuff is amazing. They're most famous for their uh, buck naked underwear. Oh yeah, we're we got all kinds of red. Comment down below if you the first time you used a gym, if this was your experience. If you see something I'm doing wrong, please let me know. As Paul H says, there's nothing closer than blood in terms of getting a close shave. Let's call that done. Let's get in here and get this rinsed off. Y'all see that crater there from where I cleaned that out? Uh, I was at the Dirty South Shavers meetup last year, had dinner with uh, G.I. Jam and James, link to his channel, and Steve Walker uh, below. And I said, I've, I've never used a horsehair brush, guys. What's, uh... And they were like, hey, you know, it's just like the other ones, but you do have to take uh, special care of them because they get twisted. It is like it's a wad down there. So that'll be a video I'll be watching in a second is how to take care of a horsehair brush. Look at that. Like it's like a, you see that? Like it's a, just a big wad down in there. Rather than go straight into the alum, I think I'm going to see what I can do with just the aftershave. Avon Rolls Royce tie wins aftershave. So there's the end of the box. It says, open other end. Thank you. That's for people like me who struggle to use. Lift off the entire roof section. Unscrew the cap. During use, please stand to canter in this position to avoid spilling. Here you go. So you can see this thing's pretty much in mint condition. It says Avon on the front on the tag there. Avon on the rear tag. This thing's heavy, by the way. You could... <laughs> You could use this to fend off an attacker. Okay, let's take the top off. Just give it a good shake. And I don't know what conditions. Uh, my dad has had these in storage at his house, and I'm not sure what climate control conditions they've been in, humidity and that kind of stuff. So no telling what's happened to the aftershave. It may be as good as the day it came out, or who knows. These will actually stand up. Kind of a yellow color. I don't know if it's supposed to be. It's... Uh, going here we're gonna feel some burn gentlemen I can guarantee you because of smells great oh it's got so it's uh, definitely musky slightly animalic I didn't look up the scent notes for high karate so I have no idea but it's that old school like what I would smell and my dad and granddad's and grandpa's bathrooms back in the uh, early 70s. Quite uh, tacky. Is this hobby about moderation? Of course not. So let's get back in here and get a little more. Run a little bit through the hair. Not bad. I'm not still bleeding. I've definitely got some irritation. In fact, it looks like let's get a little bit more <laughs> over here. Of this vintage goodness. Enjoyed that shave with the gym. I would enjoy it a bit more once I feel a bit more proficient with it. So please give me tips on using the gyms, uh, tips on vintage Avon aftershaves. I really like this stuff, 10 skin, but I honestly use it more between shaves uh, than I do right after a shave. And again, I find the uh, roll on applicator to be efficient, cost effective mode of application. And you can get the big bottle just to fill up this roll on. That definitely burns. You can see the irritation there under my nose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Please leave your comments below. Consider subscribing. And until next time, take care, man.